circuit from a temperature sensor and a switch and the relay switches around temperatures in the 25 degrees Celsius range. But you can align that very easily by aligning this potentiometer here. That's the first potentiometer in the circuit, that's here, P1. Also by aligning here this potentiometer. So you can go to other temperatures. There are a few um, LEDs in the circuit that indicate uh, the functioning from the circuit at a certain moment. And here is the description. A red LED on, current through the relay, relay activated, green LED on, relay not activated and yellow LED on, the whole circuit is in surface. And here you see these LEDs. They are connected in the collector lead from a transistor to certain points in the circuit where the LEDs are driven via that transistor by a positive voltage. They are not essential for the switching effect, but they are handy. You can use them, you can see how the circuit works and in uh, which state the switch is. This is the sensor. When it is hot it is 1000 ohms, when it is cold it is 12000 ohms and I've used this sensor in that circuit when I tested it. You can also use other sensors uh, with other um, resistance values and align them with the help of this potentiometer and this potentiometer. And the circuit is in fact a Schmitt trigger. The first transistor from the Schmitt trigger, the second transistor. And the good thing from it all is that the second transistor has a relay in its collector lead. And switches, uh, for instance, a heater on and off. You can connect that heat, heating element here on the mains, switch it on and off, and at the same time uh, the heating element and the sensor are in the same water bath. That means that the water bath is kept at a constant temperature from approximately um, 25 degrees in this example. Pen over somewhat works on 24 volts. It was well tested. It worked very, very good in the past. I've built this circuit in real and tested it.